Hi, welcome to Laurie Pop, where ideas pop and I share them with you. Today I'm talking about ways that I've learned to pack smart. We use carry-on suitcases when we travel. In the airplane, it's, it takes a lot less time to use those kind. You don't have to go through the ticketing line. You just zip right through security with my smart ways. And in the car, it takes up less space to use a carry-on. So number one is plan smart. This is your vacation too. So you want to relax and enjoy your vacation even before it begins. And one way to do that is to plan smart. So I suggest getting on your cozy robe, getting you a spot of tea, warm or cold, sugar or no sugar, and um, making yourself a list. And the way you make your list is to check the weather at your destination because the weather is gonna dictate every piece of clothing that you take. When you make your list, I like to use cute little markers because it makes my list happy looking whenever I look at it. So you can make your list a week, a month ahead of time, or the night before. Um, be messy, be neat, but I think if it's cute with cute markers, then it's super cute and it makes it more like a vacation. I think it's smart when you're making your list to write down all your outfits because if you have two pairs of shorts and three t-shirts, you will be amazed at how many outfits can come from just that. So write it down, lay them out on your bed if it helps you, and then you'll see how many outfits you need and don't need, and then how many shoes you're gonna have for each outfit. You, When you're making your list and you're planning smart, you're thinking about your routines during the day, your morning routine, your afternoon routine, exercise, when's that going to happen, what do I need to bring for exercise, what do I need to bring for my nighttime routine, like skincare, nasal drops, that's what I bring um, for morning, nighttime. If you're bringing deodorant, solid, then that goes in another bag. After you make your list, you can put a little dot by the things that are liquid that need to go in your TSA quart size bag, or you can buy some like the ones I have here. When I go on a, sh on a vacation, I like to buy something new, and instead of buying a whole outfit or an expensive shirt or new shoes, it's good to buy some bags just to play around with, or some markers, like I said earlier. Uh, one thing I found was this cute little pill box for my vitamins that I need every day. It's small enough, but look at that. And it's just super cute because it says happy pills. And so when I look at it, it just it's just fun. You know, just something else that I can buy, but it's not going to break the bank for or my vacation budget to do it. So you've gotten your clothes, you've gotten your list of items, and you've separated the items that are going into the TSA quart size bag. You're going to think about your nighttime routine, uh, your um, wires for plug-ins, for your battery, for your phone, computers, everything that need to be, needs to be charged. You're going to think about that in uh, reading materials, contacts, all that kind of stuff. So you will be set because you have prepared and you are going to have a restful morning routine and a restful nighttime routine because you have planned SMART. Here's my open suitcase and I'm going to start with my shoes, knowing that my makeup bag and my curling iron are going to go in here on the last morning right before I leave. And obviously you're going to start with the bulky things first. What I do is I keep a pair of tennis shoes at the house. If I'm going to my parents' house or my husband's parents' house, I keep a pair of tennis shoes there. Um, and now I have, since I've rolled up everything, I'm just placing everything in there. So I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed at all. Number two is dress smart. I have 14 clothing items and look at how it looks when I separate them. You can see that when I mix and match them, there are at least 10 days worth of outfits that I can wear. 
I can dress some up. I can dress some down. I can wear tennis shoes if I want to that I've stowed at my parents' or my in-laws' house. So I don't need to pack those. Part of dressing smart is mixing and matching, as most of you know that. Another thing that I like to do for dressing in the airport is to take my hoodie instead of a cardigan uh, in the summertime when you're thinking, oh, it's warm weather. You go to the airport and it's freezing. So you can just throw your hoodie on and then when you get in the airplane, you can just throw it on the floor, smush it under the seat in front of you with your tennis shoes touching it and it can get dirty as all get out and then you throw it in the wash when you get to your destination or when you get home. Usually that's the case for me. Another way I dress in the airport, airport is with just a backpack and my carry-on suitcase. A backpack frees up both hands so you can talk on your phone and carry your latte as you press through the airport. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so a backpack frees up both hands. I also like to take my little purse that I'm going to use at my destination um, with me in my, in my backpack so that if I'm walking through the airport, I've taken this off out of my bag after security and I'm ready to go get my little latte. So I open up my bag and that I found at TJ Maxx for only $16 and it's Nicole Miller. Nathan keeps jumping on the bed. It's a Nicole Miller and I got it for $16. Another one I tried was $10. Anyway, so I'm going to open this up buy my Starbucks and then put it back so that I don't have to fool with taking off my backpack and putting my wallet back where it goes, putting my card back where it goes. I can just use this little bag in the airport after security and then throw it in the backpack when I get on the airplanes because I'm done with it. Um, another thing that I like to do is you can decide with your um, little over the shoulder bags for your destination if you're going to use one with silver or one that has gold with it because I have that one too to choose from but most of my outfits would look neutral with this neutral bag versus the black and gold one that I have. So just a thought for you to help dress smart in the airport. So here's how I number three pack smart. First thing I do is roll up every piece of clothing everything and it gives you so much more space. I have 14 clothing items that I have rolled up. So this is how I pack smart going through the security line. Don't you appreciate the really nice, kind, patient TSA people? It's kind of like when you get a fantastic flight attendant, you so appreciate the great ones. So I show my TSA lady who said good morning to me, my passport and my ticket, and then I slip it right back in this zippered part in the front pouch, only for the security line. And I also, when I get to the security line, through the, to the security belt, I take out my one bag of liquids or two bags of liquids, if that's what it takes for you and your family. Then I slip it right back in here, and my passport is already in here, zip it up and take it to the gate. And then when I get to the gate, I take both of them out and put them on my person in my backpack because inevitably your suitcase is going to get put underneath the airplane because they always seem to start now running out of overhead space. So you want all your essentials on in that backpack that's on you in the airplane. Um, any medicines uh, because the main thing with liquids is if you put it in a carry-on suitcase underneath the belly of the airplane, it is inevitably going to cause a leak because it's not really pressurized like the main cabin is. So that's something to think about. Now you're sitting in your comfy, cozy airline chair and you're ready to start that vacay, but you have all of your essentials in this backpack in case your suitcase got put in the belly of the airplane. Or your suitcase is right there above you in your overhead bin because there was plenty of room and you're going to start taking everything out that you might need for the flight. Your book, your glasses, phone. Uh, a trick for me is to turn your sunglasses upside down and put your phone inside it so that you can watch a show. Um, just something to think about. It does not work with Ray-Bans or other really nice or stiff 
sunglasses, but it works great for cheap sunglasses, which you're going to take because you, then you're less stressed because you don't care if they get lost or not. You bought them at the dollar store where I always buy mine. So you're taking everything out. You're helping your kids get everything out of their, their backpack that they might need because the suitcase, or I mean the seatbelt sign is still on and you don't want them to have to reach down for that backpack and not be able to get it while that seatbelt sign is still on. I hope you feel less stressed because you stressed less in planning your trip. You were a smart planner, you were a smart dresser, you were a smart packer, and you are a smart traveler. Ready to go.